I was four years old, I started making art uh, at my grandmother's house because she babysat me. Um, I've been making art ever since. Uh, the art field has supported me. Uh, I went through uh, the Art Institute of Chicago and then to uh, graduate school at Notre Dame and uh, got out of school and uh, found a job uh, teaching art uh, at North Central College for uh, 35 years. Uh, prior to that, I taught at COD for a number of years. And uh, uh, it's been a great experience because I made my living out of making and teaching art. Basically, it's been a part of my life. It's, I, can't imagine, I can't imagine living without it. It's just a normal part of everyday life. I, you know. I see, I look at art, I think of art. It's just, it's just a normal part, like eating and drinking and sleeping. It's just a normal part of my life. It means everything. It is who I am. everything. Um, it allowed me to grow and grow up, make mistakes and figure them out and be able to kind of lie about them <laughs> because you know I could hang something on a wall and it's my true feelings but I could easily deny it you know because there are very few or no words in it. Sometimes I'll add words into my um, artwork but it has developed me into the person, the mother, the wife, the daughter that I am today. And I would be lost without it. It's my life, it's my passion. Um, I'm an art teacher, and so I'm able to um, share that. But first, I was an artist from the very, very beginning.
are uh, very impressed my life. I was a mechanical engineer before and I don't have a chance to learn art before but since I learned the art totally changed my inside and here and totally changed my life look at like the the life you know change my mind that's why I changed the I quit the job for the engineer one to the full-time professional artist because uh, really I want to share with the world the people the art really great because we can express your feeling your mind and then change your direction how to say that but the war your your philosophy look at the life look at the people look at the outside and then you really want to contribute for the war also not only for oh, living for yourself you know really want to impact for someone else. Art has meant uh, a release from being stuck in my own um, my own little world. It allowed me to go beyond that and explore other places. I think uh, art to me is uh, very important and I almost live for it almost every day. If I don't do something during that day, I think it's a lost day. And, and uh, I hope I can continue doing that as long as I can, of course.
art has saved my life. It has kept me disciplined. It has kept me in a position of being productive and doing something that I think is good for society. Uh, I find that uh, art is something that keeps me company every day. I'm in my studio five days a week, usually anywhere between five and eight hours, and it seems like two or three minutes. It goes so fast. So that's what art means to me, everything. It's been all of my life, from my early beginning of, of picking up a pencil or, or clay or anything, I had to do something with it, artistically. Uh, the, the, my, the purpose of my work is uh, about uh, humanity, life, nature. Everything in nature has a meaning and a purpose, and that's what I try to express with my work. It's called Life Thread. Art has been my way to be able to express myself. I have really deep feelings and emotions that can only come out through my art. Even though I've gotten better at verbalizing, still it's my art that the real deep stuff comes out. And it's always interesting to see how people react with my art because they see it and they feel it, only it's a little different than the way I project it usually. And sometimes I don't even know what the heck my art is saying, but other people can read it because the emotions and the feeling and the depth of it is so deep, it's beyond words.
is everywhere in my home, in my life, everything I see. I um, crop and I can see it in a frame. Art is my life. Art, uh, dance, music, art. And then of course my husband. <laughs> and then my kids, wait a minute, and my grandkids. So there you go.